This is Calgary, a much smaller town. Hmm. Must be food from the restaurants in this area, especially that place, the, the haunted house one. <coughs> So I'm thinking that uh, next year, or next fall, I'll definitely sign up with the IGP uh, to find out, to find ways we can, uh, find ways we can swim. Actually, if it wasn't such a haunted, haunted house, it looks actually pretty nice. The Dean House, the Commandant of the, uh, the Commandant of the uh, RCMP, or Northwest Mounted Police, at NW, NW. MP. Um, see, Han, Han, this place was uh, then used to have police. It was just an empty. All this downtown here was an empty field, and some people inside eating. All this was here was an empty field, uh, farms and stuff. And then the uh, the Americans used to encroach into this area, selling alcohol to the indigenous people. Especially down in the uh, Lethbridge area, Fort Whoop-Up, as it was called, as the, as the uh, American fort was called. So then the RCMP came, set up a, set up a, set up a, set up a unit there of military police. Uh, and it's really cool because in the old, in the old, in the old, in the old pictures, it makes them look like a bunch of Mexican revolutionaries with the, uh, you know how they have the uh, cross, the X-crossed, uh, ammo belt it makes them look like a it makes them look like um mexican revolutionaries or something a bunch of vs men general vs men and uh heroic are the heroic uh, revolutionaries and oh see look garbage there what is this it's a sacred ground people and more garbage there and more garbage let's go pick this let's go pick this garbage up my knees see this is, this is not a place where, this is a, this here is a sacred ground, a river ground. Oh, I thought the bunny was garbage. I thought the bunny was a bag and then the bunny stood up Popeyes. Ugh, no Popeyes. Let's go hunt the bunny. Oh, he sees me. I'm going away. See? There's another piece of shit over there. I hate it. This is an ecological, uh, ecological area. AKA a riverbank. A river teen wetland. This is not a place of garbage. <laughs> it's my hope that when I volunteer, when I volunteer some more, that. Look how nice it is now. See? But like I said, that's the old... That's just, all this used to be a fort, fort ground. Uh, I used, used, to, used, to have a, used to have a telecommunications uh, uh, cabin. All that's left of the, of the, of the, the old base. Of the old military police base. <laughs> oh, there. Military police base. What's well, that? These cannot be recycled, this is all Kent City. Yeah, this is no Kent here. And then this is paper so it gets recycled. And then I'll compost that. Kent City. That's that's good. Ah, there's the bunny, who I confused was garbage. Let's go freak him out. Booga 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 booga. Booga booga booga, I'm gonna eat you. God damn it, human. So, all this here used to be a, used to be a military army base. Military police base called the uh, Calgary Detachment. And they have models inside of it. Uh, they have a telegraph, uh, an old IT room, an old uh, telegraph, Morse code, Morse code, um, Morse code room, and we're just experiencing Morse code and telegraphing. And the police came in, the, the military police came in here, set up, set up Calgary, and and establish, uh, establish the base here, 
to assert Canadian Dominion rule, uh, as Canada was called, was officially incorporated as a Dominion. And uh, this is the back. This is actually just, just newer buildings. The old, but it's quite lovely there. There's fresh air. And you have to imagine none of this here, just all green. Everywhere, honey, and sis, anywhere that's green, there's a savanna, just like our daughter's name. Just like your name, hon. It's a kid, daughter. This parking lot never existed, you know, hundreds of hundred years ago. It's all just empty savanna, uh, where the elbow meets the river. See, the whole river goes like this, woo! The elbow river goes woo! down to, and then they diverted it. And when the diversion area became the Ware, which was very, which is a very, very depth trap of a place. More garbage, yay. I honestly, honestly speaking, this is a public park, this is nature. Why, why make it an ugly place? Why throw garbage everywhere, right? Recycle that, ow, my eyes. I hit that poke in the branch here. Ow, ow. Canadian goose smokes. <clears throat> See, eventually, the idea is to elevate people's minds so that they're more conscience, conscious of the grunge they leave behind. See, this is what I mean. This is the, this is the old barracks. This is all this pretty much. These two buildings are just one building. The dining hall is now a dining fancy dining hall for corporate events, uh, community events. Uh, I'm going to throw this away. Oh, this is plastic actually. Let's just recycle all of this. Recycle this and compost the tissue. See? Like all this, all this hilly area was just one big giant grassy hill. Then these neighborhoods, the East Village over there and Inglewood who just came out of over there behind this building. You know, this Victoria Park is another neighborhood which is now torn down. This is, used to be a big, big park that's torn down. Here's the, uh, here's the Commandant. And although no fire, no, no shots were fired, the intent was pretty clear that this is not America. That this here, this grass I'm standing on is indigenous land. Uh, governmental crown land and was turned into this city park known as Fort Calgary. See, see all that those plaques, all those plaques down there. McLeod family. However, I never thought that McLeod, I never thought that uh, Colonel McLeod ever settled here in Calgary though. Well, he did, he did settle here in Calgary. I thought he had a I thought he was detached. I thought they rested here and then built up base here to build up the Canadian authority, our sovereignty, and our police, and our laws. So just don't sell booze to don't sell booze to our people. That's the British flag right there. The Union Jack. This was actually a base, and this must be. I believe this was the old, the old. Some kind of old structure, the old, the old thing, or the old uh, fort used to be. And we'll have some scale models inside. <laughs> Syringe. Someone's shooting, someone's shooting up there. See, and this, this may be the place where they decide to put them. The indigenous, indigenous, indigenous gathering space. Because this here is sacred territory, uh, where the elbow meets the river, Mukinsit. Mukinsit, the old, the old name for Calgary, or this area, anyways. And this is it. This is this ground zero of where the name Mukinsit was, and all this used to be covered in buffaloes. And over there, behind these buildings, is, is Nose Hill, where uh, Indigenous scout. Yeah, Nose Hill is over there, behind there, way, way back behind there. And it'll give you a beautiful view of this whole river valley. Uh, unfortunately, as high as up, as high up as we are, as we as it goes, this was all underwater. 
maybe 2015 all this was underwater this is crazy two gooses over there Can't spit. This is ground. This is secret ground. Which that's just where we picked up. There. So, thinking I should place the uh, IGP here, or at least some of the. Uh, some navvy bugs that just net net by and uh this here used to be the old village uh then it was torn down it's a really crummy part of the city all the houses were all torn down for for uh for condos and because all the old houses were all falling apart and stuff it used to be an empty field empty, empty field too ralph klein they feel more premier the city hall right there, he used to go to come here after work, come here from city hall after work to the St. Louis Hotel. Because St. Louis Hotel had a beautiful blue, a beautiful blues, uh, blues community. See, I'm not even a native Calgarian. You know? uh, I mean, there's, there's at least men, multiple generations of Calgarians living here from this time and that's probably where the uh, old base used to be and it's a great place to actually come up for some fresh air and commune with nature at the actual ground. This might be actual U crazy UFO landing place. Empty field, big sky, empty field, a bunch of Protoss ships come down. They should actually either they should either plant this up, tree it up or grass it up, you know. Turn this back into Savannah, Savannah land. And now you know, honey, what the name Savannah comes from. Tall green grass, prairie, just like your name. Then uh, your nickname is Chi, which means tree, I think. You said it was tree, then you said it was dope, or cereal. Then you said Chuchu meant, uh, meant us. Then you said Chuchu meant um, sleep or, or, or something. But other than that, I mean, other than those limited garbage I picked up, uh, this is actually pretty clean. I like how I like how you said that my neighborhood, my neighborhood looks so looks looks so looks so neatly or looks so looks so clean or tidy or looks uh, really neatly like swept up. Swept up. Oh, this is a hat. Hat and some holy shit. What the hell is that? There'll come a time when people's evolution and and awareness and everything not evolution but uh Consciousness will rise, and until then, we need to places to take care of people. This hat looks pretty clean, so I'm gonna wash it and we donate it. I don't need an Avengers hat. So let's go dump all that trash I picked up into here, and then we'll go home. But this is Calgary Park. This is like a, and this whole city, this whole city here grew around there. All this downtown used to also be a bunch of houses too, not 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 the office buildings, but old pictures of downtown used to be uh, old houses in the 50s and eventually the city the city grew up this mega megatropolis grew up in it. And this whole this whole neighborhood used to be part of that too. So let's see here. Dump all that shit in there and Cycle this. Oh shit. I don't want to pick it up. I think too. I think too. Sometimes wind is blowing garbage everywhere. And uh. 
Well, this is a nice neighborhood. See, look how it's very clean and stuff, so I like it. Some freaking losers decide to throw all their trash everywhere in that nice, beautiful park. And oh, fun chance is people have to come and pick it up. So, you know, throw his away. Throw his hat away. There we go. So that's uh, that's Calgary, the East Village, and then they put all these uh, old folks. There's an old folks condo, or old folks apartment there, or the uh, retirement apartment there. Uh, helps uh, help one of my help one of my co-workers move into move in there. Um, it's a regular apartment. These are fancy condos over there. Uh, yeah, this place has been really, re really renovated to look very nice. So it's pretty. As you say, honey, it's very clear. Just like, just like our neighborhood. So uh, it looks pretty nice, actually. See, look at how clean, <laughs> how crazy fancy this place looks. And a few, a few years ago, this place used to be just a derelict neighborhood. Look at this bag of chips there. So that's, uh, that's walking in in uh, downtown, coming back from the IGP meeting. You can walk over there, but then you always see this ugly train. So it's the more nicer part. Just one block that way, you can see all nothing but uh, ugly train yards. And oh, look, someone. Oh, you didn't win. So you gotta throw. You didn't win. So you gotta throw up your, throw your crap everywhere. Oh, Calgary. East Village Community Space Engagement. What would you like to see in this space? Oh, I gotta turn this into a... I'm gonna turn this into a... Uh, into a community space, huh? Cool. And uh... That's the music, that's the music center. Um, used to be part, and then there's the, there's the, there's the fancy light. Oh, there's the, there's the, there's the uh, Ralph Klein Hotel. There's the hostel. A bunch of other fancy buildings. Um, eventually, I'm going to do a river walk, but like I'm not going to do it now. Some kind of weird looking. Uh, this is gonna be the most weirdest looking apartment out, out there. See? The apartment is so weird looking. Uh, the music center is over there. I used to, like I said, all this place used to be just a bunch of old buildings. Uh, when, I, when my friend Ron was alive, he took me, he took me to a uh, punk show. And it was uh, in an old community center. They must have tore it down a long time ago. All, and all this is just a bunch of old, gross-looking buildings. Uh, maybe this guy was here. And the uh, community I say, I say, tear down all these old buildings, you know, and put them, put a bunch of sky rises, and, sky rises and stuff. Homewood Suites. There's a hotel. Really fancy, fancy hotel and. Yeah. But however, in all this opulence here, all this wealth and all this uh, advancement, over just, just at the brown building right there is the um, shopping center and we try, we try to serve the, the homeless people, the homeless, yes, the last, that's probably the last remaining house in this neighborhood. That's actually a house house. And 
like I said, knock down these, knock down these empty parking lots. Just fill them up with nice buildings, uh, or or a park, a nice building. Uh, see, just that. Look at that crazy, crazy building, the Ark building. That's a music. That's a music hall. That's where they learn how to play music for the. And then, and then you know, in all this splendor, we also see the. Uh, yeah, we also see how the other, the other dichotomy of human humanity over there, the impoverished, and we have to help them out. Then all this become, all this here become, and over there, that's a music hall right there, next to a, next to the Salvation Army Center of Hope. Oh, there's another homeless shelter over there, so, which is very good because it's very clean, and you go there. These places don't allow you to do to do anything uh, drug related, so you have to work on your building yourself. So that's good. It's a healthy place to live and help you to recover your. So I don't know what the place will look like in about five, ten, fifteen years. Uh, There's the St. Louis Hotel over there. Um, what is this road called? It's called Bosch Street. Uh, so see the. Backpacker, well, at least renovate these old buildings here. It used to be Little Italy, I think. Or, yeah, this species we call, this species we call Little Italy. And uh, there's a fancy hotel here. And... Oh, shit! Sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought that was a crosswalk. I thought this was the crosswalk, sorry. Ah, see. Ah, oh, goddamn litter bugs everywhere. But uh, I was waiting for the little, uh, little white crossing dude to come up. <laughs> and then, uh, see, oh, shit. This is a nice neighborhood. Why the fuck would people, anyone, <laughs> throw all the shit everywhere? That's, you know what I mean? Possibly that man got, got mad at me saying, got mad at me by saying, uh, so yeah, this is a, it's still, oh yeah, here's, here's, here's what I wanted to show you. The, the main entrance of uh, downtown, or the downtown, the uh, Calgary, Hotel, Calgary uh, Library. We'll send our kids here sometimes, maybe. Um, all this used to be, like I said, an empty, an empty, uh, an empty field, an empty parking lot kind of place, and uh, a lot of wow, it's crazy, crazily designed building here. But as I was saying, uh, this used to be, uh, this used to be uh, an empty field. And uh, all this place used to be just falling apart. Uh, uh, a wooden fence, a uh, place where people urinate in public too. I'm serious, people used to urinate in public here in this triangle of a building. So, exchange garbage for a bottle. So I collect bottles and then. Some gooses over there. Because the wind will eventually pick up the garbage up, right? So, see, all this used to be one big empty, empty field, and then she came and wanted to give us a new, new beautiful, beautiful building. So, that's the East Village. 